What is up, everybody? Welcome to Spook House. Um, this is a game about managing a spook house as a skeleton. Don't get spooked. Managing a spook house is a scary business to make sure you, you're scaring your guests and not yourself. Let's go over the bare bone basics. Ha, <laughs> because I'm a skeleton. Hit next. Let's start with the camera movement. Rotate the camera, pressing Q and E. Alright. Now move the camera camera with WASD. You're a natural and now try scrolling with the zoomy wheel. Kinda wish I could change the angle of the camera. You can also toggle walls, hit the wall button. Okay, see that's exactly what I want, yeah. Um hit the wall toggle button below, hide your walls and shut my walls and hide my walls and shut my walls and hide my walls and shut my walls. Alright. Probably gonna keep those down mostly. And I hit the toggle button again to bring your walls back up. You can open and close doors and poop house for but for a price at the door below. Okay, I need to hide my walls because I can't see anything. Hit the door button. This will let you open a new path for guests to take by toggling doors. Open and close the yellow path shows where guests must go. There's a lot of dead time in the afterlife, so try speeding things up using the fast forward buttons below. Alright, and you may want to fast forward through dead hour, which is between 6 and 12 when few guests will arrive. Wash hours from 7 to 1, so you'll be flooded with customers, so be prepared. A spook house is nothing without its spooks, so let's buy some attractions to help your house. Alright, attractions come in a couple of different varieties passive, active, and automatic by clicking on the jack o' lantern. Jackaline is a passive attraction, meaning it scares guests to live by being near them. Move the attraction around the screen. Can I rotate with a button? So I probably want to put one of those in the main room, right? The piano is an active attraction, meaning it scares guests only when activated. Try back a piano. Uh, we'll put a pan. What the fuck? Why is it? Um, I didn't... Can I go back to the shop? Okay, apparently I fucked that up, whatever. I'm gonna try clicking on the piano. I've already fucked up, guys. God dang it. Okay, now we're gonna try to play the piano successfully this time. Uh, we're gonna put the piano. I don't know here. All right, I click on it. Ooh, spooky, spooky, creepy piano. Check that out. Whenever you click on an act attraction, as a guest walks by, it will scare them and burst and cool down briefly. When a guest shows up to the house, they will pay you ten dollars right away. When the guest exits, leave. They'll leave a tip. The more they enjoy this spooky experience, the more they'll tip you. Fright points are in you critically, blah blah blah, you'll skip rascal over the head and earn 10 fright points to win. However, if you scare a guest against after hitting a critical scare, the guest will be too scared to jump by broken skull and freak out. Great job. Okay. So, I'm going to toggle that. I'm going to open some doors. I'm going to open this door, this door. Uh, we'll go through the bedroom. Alright. So we're gonna want a jack-o'-lantern, um, coffin. All right, we'll put this. Can I rotate it? How do you rotate? Okay, I guess not. So we'll put it right by the end of the hallway, so you have to walk up to it. And we'll put a piano. Can I afford a piano? No. All right, we'll get another jack-o'-lantern, like right. How do you rotate objects? Can you not rotate objects? Apparently you can't rotate objects. Alright. Hmm, we've got some guests coming in. Ooh, he's so spooky, freaked out.
Alright, let's get another jack lantern right here. Boom by exit. I don't know. Okay, I'm out of money, so. Anything good yet? No? Alright, I just need some more money. Fresh hour. Okay, give me some shit. I need to put a piano somewhere. Give me more money, please. Maybe I shouldn't have bought that. I'll speed this up. Yep, yep, everyone come through, please. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, we get stuff? Yeah, look at that! Is that it? Oh, that was it. I was too good at this game. Well, I shall open some doors. Um, can I open doors, please? I'm gonna open this one and this one. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna straight up buy a piano the first time. Why can't I? I don't have enough money. I'm stupid. Let me place this. Why can't I not place things? I have enough money for a coffin, though. Why are things not... Did I break the game again? Alright, well, I guess that's it, because the game broke again. So, what is this? I'm gonna get as many stars I got. What is this? Oh, you can change the opacity of the walls. Well, that's cool. But I'm not allowed to place things, so it's okay. Oh, here we go. Now I can place crap. Alright, now we're back in business. Um... Why are they going around? I don't know. God, I want a coffin. I want a piano. Alright, give me a piano. Yeah. Not doing as good because I don't know. This is the spook room. Yeah, look at that. I'm doing so good. Even though they're kind of walking through it, so that's kind of weird. Rush hour. All right, let's get a nice group of people in here. And burp. Yeah, look at that, I'm doing so great. Oh my god, I'm so awesome. Alright, well I guess that's the video because I think that's all there is to this game. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I don't know why I just did a little bow thing there. I will see you all. Uh, latest.